Holding by. We're falling behind. Get him. Hostile cluster mine detected. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with an interesting tale here, an accidental tale, because Season 4, Week 6 challenges included a challenge, recommended AR, to get 3 kills without dying, 10 times, 1 magazine. And since it was a recommended AR and the Holger was one of those recommended ARs, I decided to use the Holger with the Jack Backsaw Kit because that kit includes a 100 round mag and it would make completing the challenge much much easier. Fast forward a few days and on my live stream the other night, I still had the class. So I was running free for all for about four games, Captain Tommy and myself, and I decided to give this one a try and I was impressed. In fact, I was so impressed that I decided to give it more of a test flight and that's what this is. Here is the configuration that I'm using. And of course, let's start with the jack back saw and see exactly what it does for us. It decreases the damage fairly significantly, but then we have 100 rounds and the mobility is just fine. Now, these are composite numbers, the sum total of all the attachments you're about to see here. But take special notice of the range, which is still 30 meters. The ADS movement speed, which is 3.7 meters per second, that's with a AR slash SMG. ADS speed is 186 milliseconds, which is fairly lightning, as is the sprint to fire speed at 189 milliseconds. So that's 100 rounds coming out at a medium rate of 472 rounds. Let's look at the rest of the attachments. The intruder grip helps with the ADS movement speed and the ADS speed. That's the lion's share of the movement speed. And you remember, there are four things I look for in configuration. The first is the ADS movement speed. The second is the ADS speed. The third is the sprint to fire speed. And the fourth is the range. Now, you'll also notice that recoil has been significantly impacted, but Grandpa's found out lately that recoil numbers published don't necessarily mean that you're going to face that recoil while you're in battle. Or and if you do, maybe it's just a vertical recoil. So I decided not to worry about the recoil at all. And how a better not to worry about recoil, but to go stockless. To hold your stockless mod, that increases the gun kick by 40%, 36% on the horizontal recoil, which is an atrocious number, 26 degrees per second. And even worse, 36% increase on the vertical recoil, which is almost 90 degrees per second. So that's cat AMR sniper single shot type recoil. But Grandpa had a feeling that he didn't need to worry about it. And since I had an open slot, I decided to put on the overpressure ammo. What the overpressure ammo does is it makes the target flinch. It increases at 86%. So maybe there is some recoil and maybe every shot's not going to hit the enemy at distance. So I want to go ahead and make sure that they can't shoot back very easy with snipers, battle rifles, rifles, marksman rifles, ARs, even SMGs at range. I'm going to make them flinch. So there's the sum total of it, a, a horrible weapon in terms of recoil that we're going to take onto the field of honor and see what it does for grandpa and see what it does to grandpa's enemies. Let's go. Let's see how this fast moving, fast shooting, infinite ampo, ampo, ammo weapon performs on the stream we just kind of got a quick look at it i'm going to delve a little deeper and uh i'm trying to find somebody to gack all right one gack already and we're 40 30 seconds into the end of the game there's somebody up there see it's supposed to have horrible recoil, and I really didn't see it there. I mean, it's shooting pretty straight, especially if you strafe. Whoa, can't take on two. There we go. I don't know, what do you think? Comment below. I mean, you think something with that much that many rounds in the magazine magazines that look big anyway on the visuals there there's somebody down there would be would slow you up 
But this has the tactical sprint speed of 7.2 meters per second which is fairly quick compared to other weapons, at least up there at the top. There, double killed that guy. Proximity mine plus a couple of bullets to put him out of his misery. I mean, it's scary flying through the air like that. I'm not really a big fan of this map for free-for-all. Most because I don't do well on it. <laughs> Probably because I'm impatient. Just want to shoot something oh get turned on and that gets a remote turret which i have no clue where to put this thing on this map Let's see if anybody's camping up there yeah this weapon is putting out some fast fast rounds i mean i realize it's 472 rounds per minute but they seem to come out pretty quickly there's somebody over there Oh, and that got the VTOL. Let's bring in a fighter pilot. Sort things out once and for all. Yeah, it seems that medium range to long range, this weapon's just fine. with stockless, and you get all the benefits of mobility. Oh, yeah. glad he didn't look to his left. He was trying to gack my turret with shotgun shells. And the thing's deadly up close. Uh, we'll get him. I hope. With a quad feed. That's always good to see quad feed pop up. It's not so good getting gacked by a grenade. That guy's trying to shoot down the fighter pilot. I got to have solidarity with my brother pilot and gack him. It annoys you when you have bullets coming up from the ground. This game doesn't seem like much of a test. I mean, this gun is just farming these guys. Where is he? I can jump over. Whoa! Whoa! That was different. So, when you're playing free-for-all and you put a bunch of bullets in somebody and you see this crossfire thing look around for the person that got the kill even if you can't see the bullets flying because either you're at risk or there's a free kill waiting for you. that guy I'm telling you up close it's a murder machine hoo hoo Snickers victory you big zigzag, you be zigzag, huh? A little bit of a cheese on the last one. But I think we can take the cheese because we were slaying. So far, the weapon is A1. I'm thinking at this moment that this might be the best weapon, the best configuration in the game. Now, I realize not for every situation. I mean, if you need a sniper or a shoddy or something like that. But in terms of just overall utility... If you're going to get a weapon that's not a sniper, not a shoddy, this may be the best weapon in the game. Let's take it on the short map here where we get many engagements in a hurry. By the way, there's a bonus game. After the F4 pops its shoot, it's another free-for-all game played with a Holger 5.56 backsaw kit. That guy doesn't know where to look. I think I was outperforming his aim bot there. It's a joke, guys. It's a joke. Oh, pretty lady tried to beat on Grandpa. It's not ladylike. Now, if she just would have gacked me, that'd be ladylike. Oh, where's that come? From? I didn't know where that laser was coming from. There she goes again. All right. Where's the person coming through? Ooh. Actually, the trees don't provide much protection, especially a hedgerow. I know people think they're safe behind it, but if you can strafe, get a good look at them. You can probably gack them. 
I mean, I, I just feel like I'm farming these guys and... Whoa, look at that guy was running pretty fast. Looking for Grandpa pre-firing me, which makes sense if you think I'm there. Let's go back out into this charnel house. Oh, I'm sorry, stash house. Looking for the stash. Ooh, he just about faked Grandpa out. There's another turret and another death. Somehow I get an afterlife guy. Grandpa, I mean, this, this gun just seems to be farming people. I think this is a pretty good spot for the weapon. If nothing else, we could put it out there as a as a lure. If somebody trying to destroy it will be able to get a free kill. There's the cat head. Whoa, 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 where am I taking it? Right there. There's the cat head. Oh, strafe, man. Did you see the strafe? The cat tried to strafe me, and the cat got strafed. And I think I took all nine lives at once. There's the nice lady. If anybody's... Oh. Yeah, this one seems to be going along pretty smoothly with this weapon. And the sprint to fire speed was so good that you could get it up in a hurry, the weapon... <laughs> And uh, it was putting out the rounds. There's another Hooya and another Snickers win. Overall, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think this could be the best weapon in the game very quietly? I know the inhibitor is quietly, in my opinion, the best sniper. Anyway, please comment below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Cheers and peace to you. Time is half complete. Secure the victory.
Hostiles deploy the mosquito. Remaining. <laughs> 